Over the last few years, we have seen what it is really like to have our whole entire country shut down and become trapped in our house with nothing to do other than scroll endlessly on social media. It's a depressing thing to see, and the repercussions are now being revealed, but the long-term side effects are years away. A few weeks ago, Gallup released a study that said that depression rates are at an all-time high, and that the reason is social isolation, loneliness, fear of infection, and physiological exhaustion. But in the year 2023, we are spending more time on social media than ever before. Much like the name suggests, shouldn't social media be a social app for us to talk to other people, not just feel lonely? No, because that's not how we use social media today, sadly. Oftentimes, social media is just used to escape reality because the people don't want to face the truth. The truth is that you just sat on the couch and did nothing but swipe your phone like a brainless zombie for the last two hours straight. Yes, you did. It's because of the mainstream media that we have a problem that people are so scared to live their daily lives that they would rather just sit there and not move for days instead of going outdoors. Because of the fact that we are just sitting down and not moving or doing anything for that matter, but moving their fingers. They're gaining weight and the average BMI in America is rising and it's rising facts. If we look at the average BMI in the years 1850 to 1879, it was just under 20. 0. But now it's around 30. We don't need a study to show us that obviously we are, what we are doing isn't working. It's making the problem worse. Not only the problem of depression, but also the problem of obesity. These two things are not exclusive. Having more screens in our house isn't the solution. Rather, having a house full of no screens is the solution, along with a couple of other things. The real reason why people are feeling depressed more than ever before is the fact that fewer pe people believe in God and Jesus and said they would rather just dance with the devil, figuratively but sometimes literally, in the aspect of Sam Smith. There is a few reasons why people are feeling sad. Yes, obesity is one of them, but the main reason is because of social media. This supposed social media tool isn't social at all, but rather used as an app to control the flow of information to a whole generation of people. But that's another story. The people that use social media on an everyday basis never want to look at themselves and strive to be a better person. Most people have a single worldview. They think that they're the only thing that matters and no one else. Narcissism is also a problem. Our mind is not used to constant stimulation that social media gives us, especially TikTok, which has you judge a video based on the first one second. This makes you think that you are a, the king of the world because you are not just an average person doing the same things as everyone else in America, but the problem doesn't just start there and end at social media. But the problem is bigger than just that. Every hour that most people are awake, they spend in front of screen. They might start the day on their phone, but switch to their laptop and then their computer at work and then switch to a TV at home while making dinner and then back on their phone. But the screens are not even the main problem, yes. Cutting them out of your life for a few hours isn't the worst thing. Yes, it will be less interesting at the beginning, but it would be for a good cause. It will reset our brain's perception of time and dopamine levels. This is also known as dopamine detox, aka not being distracted 24-7. This dopamine do detox is when you select one day out of the week to detach yourself from any stimuli such as social media, sugar, or shopping, and more. You can just start by doing the de detox for a few hours, but then you can last it up to a few weeks if need be. Try it for yourself and track how you feel in a notebook. Yes, a real one. Think about it for a moment. If we are swiping on TikTok, you are looking at a new video every 20 seconds, if that. Then it comes to doing something that takes more patience, we can't do it. If we can't have the patience to watch a video while there is a slow part, never mind reading an article. How can we learn new things the right way? The right way is reading a book. The answer is you can, and the people in charge know this too. That's why they love social media. It's a huge distraction, not only from the things we are doing, but also from our family and our loved ones. Because of the fact that you are always on your phone, you don't have a good connection with your family, and thus, the more depressed you get. The more depressed you get, the more meds you get, and the more meds you get, the more you turn into a zombie person, and the more you turn into a zombie person, the faster the politicians can get full control of our lives. The more control of our lives the politicians get, the more of your life they will control turning you into a zombie ready to do whatever the people tell you to do, without thinking twice. When they say jump, you say how high. 
And that's the sad reality that we are living in in today's polite society. With that being said, we're going to be digging into the headlines of the week. 